9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage du gars. Allumage des deux AP, des deux AP, décollage, Ariane, VA 247. Lifting off from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire, carrying two new satellites. We lost her into the clouds. We didn't have much visibility, but we did have liftoff. The two boosters now providing 90-90% of our thrust, propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity, as the DDO says all is working perfectly on board. Our mass at liftoff, 775 tons. And to get that sort of weight off the ground, you need a lot of push, and push we have. She's burning five tons of fuel every second. That's two and a half tons per second burning in each booster, plus the core stage burning another 300 kilos of fuel again every second. Ariane 5 is now following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon see in less than a minute. The DDO says all is working fine on board. We're in the first of four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn and in detail, so you can follow Ariane as she heads east across the Atlantic. Right now, the first flight phase... The single first stage engine and the two boosters are burning. The boosters will each consume their 240 tons in just over two minutes. In about uh, 20 seconds, they will be extinguished. And they're the first to be jettisoned. And you'll hear that from the DDO. And you'll see that, of course, on the animation as well. This first flight phase, using both cryogenic cold fuel and storable propellant, cryogenic offering certain advantages over storable better and more precise performance, and its motors can be reignited. There we have right on time, separation of the two boosters. The DDO confirms it. They fall 500 kilometers from shore into a protected area, give you an idea what it looks like from the onboard camera. There is a second booster to the port side of the ship, which is out of camera range. French Guiana was in part La chosen as a base for its opening on the water, launches posing no threat to the local population. We'll have more on that coming up. For now, on the bottom of your screen, take a look on the left, our altitude approaching 100 kilometers, and on the right, our speed. We've passed two kilometers per second. The speed we need for satellite separation, roughly nine kilometers per second. So keep your eyes on the numbers. And when we near the region of nine kilometers per second, we're getting near satellite separation. Separation. Fairing separation has come right on time. Separation given by two pyrotechnic systems, one horizontal and one vertical. They're cords that actually remove the fairing by a small contained explosion. And we emphasize contained, of course. We can separate the fairing now because we are out of the dense layers of the atmosphere. Over 100 kilometers up, there's neither friction nor heating which could disturb the passengers. Also, we can discard any dead weight when possible to maximize the launcher's performance. The fairing weighs two and a half tons, so it's good to get rid of it when we can. 